Hello everybody, welcome again to day number two in DC Cast Strategies. This is Mr. Kent. And this is Mr. Atmer again. Today what we're talking about is PEMDAS. Yeah, you heard it before, but we're going to do it again because this is how you read math. All right. Wait a minute, read math? Read math. This is how you read math. Just like in English class when you read from left to right, you capitalize the first letter in every sentence, and you add a question mark after question is, we got a way to read math, and that's called PEMDAS. Okay? PEMDAS is called the order of operations. We got our parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division together, and then addition and subtraction together. We're going to hit all of those today, and we're going to apply our knowledge to kick some butt. Awesome. So the first thing we have in PEMDAS is the parentheses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The first thing we have to do in anything math related is we got to deal with the parentheses first. So here's an example problem. I have 3 plus 7 and they're both in parentheses. Remember how Mr. Bear and I were in parentheses? Remember how Mr. Kent and I were in parentheses? We got to take care of what's in the parentheses first. So in this case, it's 3 plus 7. It's a very simple calculation. It's 10. And then we're left with that times 2 on the outside. Now we can actually multiply 10 times 2, which is 20. And if you look at it, what happens if I did things out of, out of order? Mr. Saul is in the house, too. We're all here having a good time. Hey, Mr. Saul. Say hi, Mr. everybody. Applause. Hey, Mr. Saul. Okay, so now we have 10 times 2 equals 20. Remember, parentheses first. P means parentheses first. Parentheses. Thank you, Mr. Appen. Hey, after the P comes E, exponents. All right, we're going to walk through a simple problem here. An exponent, mathematicians just got lazy. They, they didn't want to write out 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. They got lazy, so they did some exponents. Right here, we have 2 to the third power. Really what that means is 2 times 2 times 2 again. And these are all in our nice, cute little parentheses here. 2 times 2 is 4 times another 2 is 8. Our 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Awesome. And then we got the MD part of the PEMDAS. This is multiplication and division. And Mr. Kent talked about reading from left to right in English class. Well, in math, we also read left to right with multiplication and division. So, for instance, we have a question that says 3 times 5 divided by 3. We read left to right. What comes first? This multiplication problem. So 3 times 5 is 15. Let's rewrite the divided by 3. And now we can take care of the rest. So 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So there's our MD part of the PEMDAS. Multiplication, division. And remember, left to right, whatever comes first. If multiplication comes first, do the multiplication. If the division comes first, do the division. So that's what we got here. Next up, Mr. Kent's got the next step. Our last and final thing, addition and subtraction. So just like multiplication goes together from left to right, as does addition and subtraction. So let's say we have 3 plus 5 minus a negative 2. All right? We read from left to right. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is equal to 8 minus a negative 2. Well, when we subtract a negative, those minus signs combine together to turn to a positive. So this turns to 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. And that is our final answer there. So we've talked about parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, and addition and subtraction, all going from left to right. Mr. Athman, what's the problem we're going to work through today? All right. We've got the challenge problem today that I'm going to do. And we just told you a lot of information. But don't worry. You've learned this before. So we're just going to take it a step further and put it all together. So now we have this expression right here. We're going to try to simplify it down to its smallest components. We have 3 minus the quantity of 2 plus 1 minus 4 squared plus 4 times the quantity of 4 plus 1. Whew, that was a mouthful. Woo! Let's go step by step. The first step is parentheses. What do you see in parentheses? I see the parentheses. 2 plus 1. Let's rewrite it after doing our parentheses calculation. 2 plus 1 is 3. Let's rewrite it. Uh-oh, here's another parentheses. 4 plus 1 is 5. So 4 times 5. All right, we're working it out. We're working it out. All right, what's next, Mr. Kent? We got to do the what? Exponents. The exponents. The, the exponents. exponents. Do I see exponents? I do right here. So let's do that and rewrite everything else. Let's keep the 3 there. Keep the 3 there. 4 times 4 is 16. All right, 
We're working it, we're working it, we're seeing it. So now we're just left with some subtraction, addition, and multiplication. PEMDAS, what's next? Multiplication and division, right? From so left to right. From left to right. Uh-oh, I don't see anything yet. Don't see anything yet. Don't see anything yet. At the end, I do. So let's rewrite everything else. And Mr. Ken, I might need a new board here. I got you. What's 4 times 5? 20. You're learning this on the Khan Academy, right? All right, so there, that's where we're at now. Look at this. Look at this. Teamwork. Teamwork. We're all about team in this, in this class. So Mr. Ken's, Mr. Ken's helping us out. So now we're just left with subtraction and addition. We read left to right, just like a book. So let's do the first one. 3 minus 3 is what? Zero. Zero. And let's rewrite everything else. All right. Uh oh, now we're left with some negative numbers. Ooh, nasty. All right, nasty. Let's continue to do this. What is 0 minus 16? Oh, let's rewrite it just as negative 16. Make it easy on ourselves. All right, now we're here. And the last operation we have is negative 16 plus 20, which is what? A positive 4. All right, we're uh, in the positives now. So 4 is our answer. All of that broke down to 4. Parentheses. Where's our exponents? Exponents. exponents. Where's multiplication and division? Addition, subtraction. All right, so now we're going to take you to the Mr. Kent's going to take you to the problem sets, and this Say is what I'm going to expect to work on. We got five problems here. All right, they go from mild all the way up to picante. All right, so go ahead and work on each of these right now in your group. Try to get here. All right, push it here, and we can really see what works in our order of uh, order of operations. Go blue. Go blue.